Rodrigo Moreno from the shadows to limelight In July 2010 at the age of 19 Rodrigo was transferred from Real Madrid to SL Benfica for 6 million euros A month later Rodrigo joined Bolton Wanderers of the Premier League on a season long loan He toiled hard in unfamiliar circumstances cold English weather living alone looking for an opportunity to prove himself on the pitch A difficult year of development ended in disappointment for Rodrigo with just four starts and a solitary goal to his name. It seemed like an end of a dream for young Rodri. But nine years later, Rodrigo scored a stunning header to beat FC Barcelona and lead Valencia CF to win the prestigious Copa del Rey for the first time in 11 years. Linked with the biggest clubs in the world during the following transfer windows, Rodrigo has definitely outgrown the shadows of his past to salvation. How did he turn his career around? How did the Brazilian born forward become public's choice number 1 to lead the Spanish forward line in 2018 World Cup? Not every story is built on stardom. Just like Rodrigo's, some are built on resilience and hard work. Let's unravel Rodrigo's journey to the top. Rodrigo was born in Rio de Janeiro, a city unmatched in its love for football anywhere across the world. It's not like he needed an inspiration to love football. It's in his blood. His father, Adalberto, an ex-footballer who played for renowned Brazilian club Flamengo and represented Brazil at U20s and U23s level. Injuries forced Adalberto to early retirement, but it gave wings to his inspirations and ambitions to help young Rodri to achieve his dreams. At the age of 5, Rodrigo joined Flamengo's academy where he learned his first rhythms of samba football. Soon he followed his father to Vigo, a city in Spain where Adalberto was managing a soccer school of his close friend Massinho, a 1994 World Cup winner with Brazil, father of Thiago Alcântara and Rafinha. After arriving in Spain in 2003, Rodrigo continued his training with Eureka, a local club based in Vigo, while his childhood friends Thiago and Rafinha soon joined famed La Masia Academy of FC Barcelona. Rodrigo carried on his development with his local club. His performances for the club opened the door from Celta Vigo where he joined at the age of 14. After 4 years with the Galician club, turning heads with his talent and performances, Real Madrid came knocking with an unbelievable offer. A dream come true moment for young Rodri and he obliged. So, at the age of 18, he joined Real Madrid's academy to pursue his dream and continue his development. He moved from C team to first team training in a few months. Definitely a meteoric rise in a short span of time and it felt like his debut for the first team was just around the corner. One can only imagine how many times he might have dreamed of that moment. But fate had other plans. First team managerial change forced him out. It was a big blow to Rodrigo's dreams. Disappointed with his current situation, Rodrigo was determined to prove his value on the pitch, if not at Madrid, then somewhere else in Europe. After a season of hard lessons with Bolton, failure was never an option for Rodrigo. He took inspiration from his difficult few years to toughen up. The next season he returned to Benfica, and this time his dedication and resilience paid off. He scored 16 goals along with 4 assists in 38 appearances. His stock started rising again and this time he was more than determined to not let himself down. He stayed at Benfica for 3 whole years and the final season was the best of the lot. He scored 18 goals along with 8 assists in 43 appearances in 2013-14 to inspire Benfica to an unprecedented triple of Premier Liga, Taça de Portugal and League Cup. Valencia CF soon came knocking in 2014. and he knew it was a perfect reward for his hard work. Rodrigo won his first cap for Spain that season as well coming against Luxembourg. He made a positive first impression in his first season with Valencia but still had a long way to go. His work ethic, attitude and commitment were unparalleled but his end product needed work. He wasn't helped by injuries either. Once again, Rodrigo's determination helped him make great strides in following seasons. and reached his best ever season in 2017-18 scoring 19 goals with 7 assists in 44 appearances he also became a familiar fixture with the national team that season his eye for goal movement in the penalty area and heading ability he became public's choice to lead spain's attack in 2018 world cup 
2018-19 was even more impressive for Rodrigo, inspiring Valencia CF to silverware for the first time in more than 11 years, beating FC Barcelona in Copa del Rey. In the summer of 2020, an interesting proposal came looking for Rodrigo. An opportunity under the tutelage of Marcelo Bielsa, the football's own master tactician, to help the historic Leeds United establish themselves again as one of the English football's mightiest. So, in 2020-21, Rodrigo will wear the whites of Leeds with pride to kickstart their revolution in the Premier League. Rodrigo fought through his career to reach where he is now. Sheer determination, resilience and hard work complemented his talent. It's difficult to go through a bad patch, especially in a short career like a footballer, it would have profound effect. But it's important not to let anyone measure you with that. It's easy to go down, but coming back up needs courage. Rodrigo has certainly shown that in his career and it's up to us to take inspirations from his story.